Hello, this is Ricky Pound again with two more pieces of mice and porcelain which are new to the collection. The first one is a deep single handled cup set within a really lovely blue background uh, and it contains two harbour scenes within quatrefoil cartouches. The second one is quite unusual as well. It's a very shallow double handled dish which would have been suitable for small portions of soup etc. Uh, again it has got double harbour scenes in quatrefoil cartouches with gilding around the outside. So I'm going to start off with the first one. So here it is. You can just about see it. It is a single handled cup from about 1735 and then in the centre you've got this lovely scene as you can see here painted in puce very finely detailed within this gilded cartouche and as I turn it round you can see the depth of the blue and then on the other side we have this lovely scene of a tower with trees and buildings in the distance. Now on the inside we've got about half a centimetre of gilding on the inside and if I turn it over you can just about make out the cross swords. You can also make out just at the top here a drewer's mark. Now I don't know if you can see that but it's in the form of a cross. Now that is the thrower's mark, the person that actually made the porcelain. Now as I say on the inside you can see the gilding. The second piece I'm going to show you is this very shallow bowl. You can see from the size of it it is particularly small. Beautiful figures though in the centre. Here we have a man on a horse underneath a flock of birds. We appear to have a building possibly a church in the background as well. You've got this gorgeous gilding around the outside as well. And it's all set against this osier or old osier uh, pattern within the porcelain itself. And as if I go right, when I go round, you can see these painted flowers as well. Some of them are in profile. Some of them are actually painted on. You've also got there some scattered insects as well. And if I go round to the second scene, hopefully you'll be able to see this. There you go. You've got this Renaissance building with a couple of people, a couple of visitors perhaps, just uh, ambling along, enjoying the countryside, enjoying the walk. And some more birds above as well. And you've got this, as I say, very elaborate gilding. And then if I turn it there, you can see some more scattered, scattered flowers. And you have got an ant and some more lovely painted flowers. Now... Um, there's nothing on the inside of here, but if I turn it on the rear, you can see quite prominently there you've got these Gilders letters, but there's no mice and cross swords. Now the mice and cross swords were supposedly introduced in around 1723, but not actually really used in any kind of full capacity until the end of the 1720s. So it's highly possible that this is very early porcelain. Uh, and of course the painting is probably added around 1735. There you go. Now I just want to hold them up together so you can get a comparison in the sizes here. So you can see that this soup bowl is very, very small compared to the large cup. Now there would have been a cover on here, we know that because there's a little bit of a tide mark going around the outside, which would have protected some of the hot contents of this bowl, it would have kept it warm for a little bit uh, anyway, uh, and you would have had soup in there or some other kind of liquid as well. It is hard paste porcelain after all, so it's perfectly able to uh, contain hot liquids. That gives you a really good view, I think, of, of the quality of the painting in both of these. So there you go. I think you'll agree. Very good additions to my Meissen collection. Thank you.